I have one lady, a Punjabi lady. It took me at least two and a half years to select the right remedy from her. Let us understand that case. She comes from Worli, very decent family, nice lady, to my clinic. A big bucked of Sai Baba, and when she saw the photograph of Sai Baba in my clinic, she said, "Ah, I have come to the right place." So with that hope, I start the treatment. I don't exactly remember what was my first prescription, but it was a wrong prescription. And then second, and then third, and then maybe three prescriptions were wrong. Now, when I say wrong, means she was not at all improved. No, not it was not like that. But she improves. But then again, something comes up, and she improves, and again something comes up, and improves, and so it was like this. And that is why she never left my treatment. If there was no response at all, then she would have left me long time back. So I had to do two interviews with her. In these two interviews, I learned certain facts about her. The first fact was that she was very perfectionist, very meticulous, always wanted to live a life with full of honesty, consciousness, and this and that. I gave her carcinosin. When carcinosin was prescribed after the first re-interview, she took a big jump in her migraine. That means the attacks were not frequent. But yet, again after five six months, she was even dejected. And that was a time I said, "Look, again I am wrong this time. Maybe I came to a remedy much nearer, but I have still not reached the right remedy." The mistake on my part was again. Whenever I feel these days in my prescription, more than lack of knowledge of Materia Medica, it is the lack of understanding the patient. And so the next interview, I prescribe Elo. After Elo, in the last six months, she is having a no migraine. She is now totally settled. I know now she will be cured. So the moral of the story is now what I am going to tell you. Before she received carcinosin, she was doing up down, up down like this. And one fine day, she goes for a checkup, and she sees blood sugar, which was never there. Do you follow? Now, see, all the rich people go for regular blood check, correct? And they say, but I don't have family history of diabetes, and I don't have this, and I don't eat sugar, and I don't do so things. Why this report? Do you know who is to be blamed for this report? Me, and that's why the interview. Now, to a normal homeopath, he would not have striked him. You understood? It struck me. I took second interview, brought her to carcinosin. After carcinosin, sugar disappeared because the myosin was ready to attack a deeper layer. It had already attacked. You brought it down under control. After Elo. I said, live your life normally, do everything possible, no restrictions. Again, blood tests, all levels are. I have driven that patient almost to develop a diabetes. So this is a very essential part that, on a course of treating a headache, when out of the blue cholesterol comes up, blood pressure comes up, diabetes comes up, consider you are on a wrong track. Even though there is a good results and bad days, you understood. Till the bad days are not over, you are still on a wrong vibration of remedy. Still go to a better vibration of a remedy. Now this therapy is still continuing treatment right now. I had a girl with a very bad constipation, so bad that she passes stool once in seven days. Parsi girl with a very bad migraine because she was having tablets for migraine and remaining absent. Her school principal referred her to me. So when I start talking with that lady, this young girl, talk with her. There was so much energy in the case, and she was so lively. One of her examples, which I would like to give you, is that during case taking, I ask her, "What do you want to become in your life?" And she said, Miss India. And she said, Can I pose for you, Doctor Master? 
I said, what do you love to do? Dancing. Can I dance for you? I have taken up on my video also. And so, she had that kind of energy in the case taking. And so much energy, so much energy. She talks a lot. And so, the prescription was a snake, lachesis, which was a wrong prescription. So, with lachesis, she improves. Okay? And she improves and the mother is happy and this is happy and everyone is happy. Even the constipation improves. Now see, here is a second wrong way how to identify yourself. And then, mother says, after six months or three months, her school report is very bad. Her concentration is very bad. What does it indicate to me? Because anyway she is restless and she is full of energy and blah blah blah. So should I blame that? Or should I blame my prescription? I blame my prescription. I do her toy test. I do her fairy tale test in my clinic psychologically. And from that psychological analysis, I find that lot of disruptive family. Father beats the mother. Father married the mother when he was already married with another woman. And the mother only came to know on the day of marriage that he is already married. Father stays for some days with the first wife and some days which is not allowed in Parsi community. And all these problems are happening. Child is witnessing and child is extremely afraid of father. Why? Fear of punishment. So with that fright, with that punishment, Lachesis doesn't have that story. Lachesis doesn't have that essence. Do you follow? Mother wanted to hide this information out of social stigma. So to avoid stigma, she never gave me this information. But now I have this information. I went to a spider. Which spider has this punishment and fear and passion? Tarantula. Tarantula, I could cure the whole case. Lovely. She stood first. The next test and the teacher said to the mother, good, continue the same tuitions. Mother said, there were no tuitions. She did on her own. Teacher refused to believe. Teacher said, did you spank her? She is now sitting very quietly in the class. Nothing doing. Thing changed drastically. So suppression and a wrong treatment may not always end up in diabetes and cholesterol because what is her age to develop diabetes? 12 year old, 13 year old old? In school age, in student age, you will see lack of motivation, lack of interest, lack of concentration, sort of a depression. When that starts in after your prescription, mind you, you are on a wrong way, you will destroy the case. But we homeopaths don't know all this phenomena and then we still treat on treating them with lachesis. The child is happy, the mother is happy, the doctor is happy. And then the child destroys herself psychologically. Who is to be blamed? Nobody. So nobody knows the truth. So these are the biggest disadvantages of wrong prescription. These are the biggest dis disadvantages of giving a wrong remedy.